So what I'm going to do, if that's okay, is just introduce everybody, let themselves introduce themselves to you, who they represent, uh, and what their prize is today, because we've always got prizes to give away. So uh, Jill, if you want to go first for us, please. Yeah, sure. Um, so my name's Jill and I represent JA Resorts and Hotels. And today I'm going to focus on JA Manafaru, which is our Maldives property. And our prize today is £50 or $60 uh, as part of the rewards programme. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Jill. Carolyn? Hi, everybody. Carolyn Brown. I'm from Little Harbour Estates on the island of Anguilla, where three fabulous villas, all very different. And I look forward to sharing with you some more about the properties. And also our prize, same as Jill, will be a £50 or a $60 voucher. Superb. And lastly, we've got Peter. Welcome. Um, I'm Peter Grace from Bespoke Travel Marketing. We support the sales and marketing of a brand new property in Barbados called Wyndham Grand Barbados, Sam Lord's Castle Resort and Spa. Um, same as everybody else, we're offering a £50 credit to your My Booking Rewards account or a $60 credit, depending on where you are in the world. So um, nice to meet everybody. Amazing. Thank you very much. And obviously, make sure making lots of notes, listening to the guys, because obviously their question at the end is for those prizes. And just to introduce myself, my name's Luke. Um, I'm covering today the Mystique Holbosch Hotel, which is in Mexico. Um, it's a beautiful boutique hotel. Um, I can't wait to obviously share my information with you guys and show the pictures, etc. as well. So um, so I'll get 10 minutes at the end just to do that with you guys. Uh, and same with me. I've got £50 and $60 to give away as well today. So please, again, make sure everybody's listening. Um, because it's so important, obviously, when we ask these questions. So I'm going to hand over to Jill first, if that's okay. Uh, and she's obviously going to take us off to the amazing Maldives. Over to you, Jill. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if it's actually going to... Sorry, it's misbehaving. Does somebody else want to go first then? Because mine won't let me share my screen for some odd reason. Sorry for that. That's right. Do you All want right. me to jump in? Yeah, yeah Carolyn, you. you can go. That'd be Thank amazing. You. Thank you very much. And I'm pretty rubbish at sharing screen as well, but I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> there we go. Right. Anguilla, Little Harbour Estates, three beautiful villas on the small Caribbean island, um, which is... Um, actually, you're throwing me now. I'm going to start again. Three beautiful villas on the island of Anguilla. They, Little Harbour Estates are a very a privately owned um, British family. Uh, they have been operating on the island for 33 years and very much a family run operation. And I joined the company back in March and we really have worked hard over the last few months to really bring some changes to the properties, um, not just in the product itself, but also our brand, our website launches next month, our social media is just up and running. So please do follow us. But they're very distinctively different. Um, and I'm just gonna take some time to talk through some of the changes that we've made in the last few months. As I said, the new logo, logo new look. Um, we are also have um, photo shoots, so we have totally new images. We've done an order on all our, um, who we're working with, so everybody will be in sync with the same look. Um, the We've got Villa con con Concierge. We've had a new chef come in as well with a whole culinary team and new menus. Um, as I said, lots of property enhancements, additional guest activities. We recognise that visitors to the island and to the properties want to do a lot more, so I'll touch on those as well. And lots more family activities, especially for the children in the families. So just to talk a little bit about where the properties are on the island of Anguilla, for those that don't know, um, it's near St Martin and St Bart's, Antigua, St Kitts and Nevis. 
The beach house is one of our villas. It's on the iconic Meads Bay. Meads Bay is recognised as one of the world's top beaches year in, year out. And then on the opposite side of the island, it's only about a 15 or 12 to 15 minute drive, depends on the traffic. Um, you have Le Bleu and Indigo and they sit side by side. Um, Getting to Anguilla and to the villas is a lot more easy than it has been over the years. We've got excellent services from North America um, with services into St. Martin, which is about 15 minutes away by boat or a direct service with American Airlines that comes in from Miami. Um, and they are increasing the services when the uh, for the coming season as well. So there'll be additional flights, but very, very good access as I said from the North American market, from the United Kingdom and Europe. Again, uh, improved services, we've got British Airways and Virgin into Antigua. And then we've got excellent onward connections, particularly for the coming festive season. Um, Anguilla Air Services are introducing four flights a week on a scheduled service, Trans Anguilla as well. And then Trade Wind Aviation as of um, January will introduce a scheduled service as well for Antigua. We have private Jets. Um, and we also have KLM and Air France coming in from Europe. Excellent connections again from Paris and Amsterdam and also regional gateways in the United Kingdom. And then also the Latin American market, which is also very much accessed via Saint Martin. That gives you a really brief insight in how to get to the island. Um, it is a lot easier than it used to be, and there is so much more availability. But to talk about the villas, as I said, we have the beach house on Meads Bay, Le Bleu and Indigo, three very different properties. Um, the beach house is has 16, takes 16 guests. It has eight master bedrooms um, and 10 bathrooms. It's full staff, the private chef. Um, we offer butler service as well, daily maid service, uh, concierge, indoor and outdoor dining. There's a games room. I'll go through some of the images of the property as well. The two top floor, the top floor here are the two master suites. We're making a lot of enhancements to those as well um, in the next um, next month. Actually, we've just things are arrived on island. They're all being upgraded. Um, the beach house has a private tennis court. All our villas have private courts. There's no sharing of any of the facilities. And one thing we also like to reiterate too, if we have guests in, there's the staff that work with that villa stay with that villa. They do not mix it up between the other three villas. So you very much have your, your, you know, your own personal staff there as well. Um, the layout of the beach house, as I said, it's directly onto Meads Bay, beautiful stretch of beach. For those that know Anguilla, um, the beach house is directly between Four Seasons and Malihana, right in the very middle. And again, as I said, beautiful, iconic beach. Uh, this area here to the left of the villa, we also own. It's a one acre block, uh, which we use for events. So again, it's still, it's very, very much private. And again, one thing we find too is, you know, we are right on Meads Bay it is still very private. You know, you really, and one thing about Anguilla, it's not mass tourism, so you're not going to get loads of people all the time, um, you know, peering over the fence. You occasionally do, but we, we have a lot of high net worth individual guests, a lot of celebrities, and, you know, they really do have the privacy they require. Um, as I said, we've done quite a bit of work on the interiors, upgrading and enhancing. Um, and it really is an exceptional property, Property great for families, great for friends that want to travel together. Um, all our bathrooms have outdoor components to them. Bedrooms, as I said, a lot of these suites are being um, slightly upgraded, but this is a, actually a perfect suite for people that have disabilities. It leads straight down under the swimming pool and it's all on the ground level as well. The games room downstairs is incredible. It's a huge floor. Um, anything you want there, table tennis, pool, there's all sorts of game. We actually converted this into a casino for guests recently. Um, it's a massive space, a private bar as well. There's also a gym to the right here, a fully serviced gym. And we have a 16 seat cinema with private bar also in to the right of the, um, to the left of the games room as well. So it's quite unique for, for Anguilla to have such a facility as well. So again, it's also great for corporate events or people that, you know, are, are doing product launches and things like that the main entrance to the villa and we captured this when we were there down in june beautiful sunsets across meads bay gorgeous 
And then Little um, Le Bleu is over on the opposite side of the island. So you're facing St. Martin and also on a clear day, St. Bart's. We can sleep 20 guests in the villa. Again, sim as same as the beach house, same as Indigo, fully staffed. Um, you've got two very distinctly different areas to the property. Um, as I said, this is Indigo Villa here and this is Le Bleu. It can be joined as one. Um, and just putting in the maps as well to show the difference how the property is laid out. So you've got the main house here, you've got the water gardens, tennis courts, and then we have a whole second area of the property here with, with suites as well, a full kitchen. We also, which I didn't mention with Beach House, we have an industrial kitchen on both of these properties. So if we have guests um, that are having parties and things, we're not, all the prepping is done there. So the guests are not um, interrupted in any way. Uh, we have a whole area here, which we call this the dining platform. You also have beach access and um, cabana over on the side. I mentioned the suites. All the ground floor is, um, is suites. And then the two masters are either side on the top floor. But a beautiful outlook. I mentioned closeness to St. Martin. As I said, 15 minutes by boat, 20 minutes really maximum, either the French or the Dutch side, and about a seven-minute flight. But a beautiful outlook, very private. And as I said, the water gardens lead up to the tennis courts. And for the American market, and it's growing in the British market, we've just actually signed off last week that we're putting in pickleball courts. So each villa will have pickleball available to guests. The growing, fastest growing sport in America and really taking off here in the UK as well. So it's something unique that no other property on the island has. So we're pretty happy about that. Again, you can see how the properties are inter can be interconnected. There's what I call two secret little entrances along the gardens here into both. So again, we do have guests that take the two villas if they've got large family groups or weddings or celebrations. This is the second section of the property as you come in. And with all the properties, all three properties, at the entrance um, to the beach house, at the entrance to Indigo, and up here as well, at the main entrance coming into Le Bleu, we have, as I said, suites or apartments that are perfect for people traveling with staff or teenagers that they want to have their own space and don't want to be around the family. They're really, um, you know, all of the same standard, but just away from the main house. And then Indigo, again, next door, as I said, to Le Bleu, to, it's, it's, our original property, um, it is the well the largest in guest numbers um, with 10 master bedrooms and 11 bathrooms and 20 guests. It's more traditional, but it has a beautiful feel to it. The gardens here are so lovely. They're established. Um, there's all sorts of little areas to tuck yourself away, you know, to go and read a book or sunbake or just escape everybody else that you're with. It has two swimming pools, as does Le Bleu. Um, the layout of it, as I said, the main house here, this is what we call Little Indigo, and the main house, tennis court, all the tennis courts are flood lit as well, and then the entrance up here again, which could be used for teenagers or staff as well. That just gives you more of an idea. It really is, I, I actually have stayed here a couple of times, very fortunate over the years, and it is a really beautiful property, very comfortable. As I said, the gardens are stunning, the outlook's beautiful, and it's totally private as well. Um, and the main living space, main, this is what we would call the master suite. It has its own veranda, uh, terrace, beautiful outlook, a little swimming pool here, which there's another suite at the back as well. So again, it's just an additional um, swimming area for guests. Our villa concierge, we have a fantastic girl that works on property, Akira. Um, she is X4 Seasons, an ex -overge. She has what we call the little black book of everybody. Um, if we need anything, a guest wants anything, Akira can arrange that, either pre-arrival or why the guests are there. So if you're looking at spa or wellness or fitness facilities or private um you know, a trainer to come to the villas, any restaurant reservations. For those that don't know, Anguilla has possibly over 120 restaurants on the island. It's a big foodie destination. Again, experiences and excursions, childcare, whatever anybody wants, she can put a hand to arranging that. And as I said, either pre-arrival or why guests are on resort on the villas as well. Um, activities, one thing we've recognized with guests, and it's like anywhere in the world now, people want to do a lot more. You know, they want to be out experiencing things. And even though Anguilla is only 35 square miles, 
there's still an amazing amount of things that they can do. Um, this is the east end of the island. It's fantastic for hiking. Scuba diving is growing um, in popularity for the island too. We have a fantastic golf course at Aurora Resort. It's um, an 18 hole and a nine hole PGA standard course, Greg Norman design, which we can use as well for our guests. Um, all sorts of different activities are available. Dining on the properties uh, is a big part of the whole experience as well, as is Anguilla. Um, as I mentioned, we have a new chef, Kelston Connor has joined the team. He has come with a huge, he worked with us many years ago. He's come back again. He's worked all around the world um, at various other villas as well. For those that know Annie, he also worked with Annie Villas. So he's experienced in Thailand and Sri Lanka. So he's bringing a real new spin to our menus. And we're really excited about that. And one thing we're also introducing for the cinema at the beach house is that we'll have like an adult's menu for movie nights. And we'll also have a children's menu. So little tiny extras just to make it a little bit more fun fun and an enjoyable experience. Weddings um, and celebrations are also very big for us. We, as I said, we have the extra acre next to the beach house, which we can put marquees up. Um, we can do all sorts of dinners, whether it's um, a celebration of a wedding or a renewal, all of those things are available to guests also at the other two properties as well. Meetings and incentives, and so as I said, the celebrations. We have some really great spaces, and as I said, we can turn our hand to anything. If you've got guests that are kosher as well, or any other dietary requirements, that's something that we we do beautifully. Um, and this is not touched up. This is exactly what Meads Bay it's like on a busy day. Um, out through the picket fence, pull your chair up, and really enjoy the experience of Anguilla. The, the properties really are very beautiful. And again, all very different. We like to say they're exquisite, exceptional and extraordinary. And that's it. 33 years in the making and 33 beaches on Anguilla. So we've been there for every beach. So that's me. Looks Thank fabulous. You. Stunning. I think on behalf of the 96 participants we have here when is it you're going to take us with you to go and have a look at these properties well we can accommodate possibly most of you over three of them <laughs> i'm sure there's not going to be anybody in this uh, webinar today who would turn that uh, opportunity no. but honestly they are very beautiful properties they, yeah, are, they are all are. different so it depends on people's style what they want what lo where the location the privacy um you know we really do have the option to be able to sort of turn a hand to whatever anybody wants and Amazing. i'm very happy well, to answer any questions people. You showcased it absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for that. I think yeah. there's a couple of questions for you to answer, Carolyn, for us. If you just don't mind uh, jumping onto that for us, um, that'll be great. Um, yeah. And this is the beauty of today. I suppose today's webinar is classed as a luxury webinar, but all of us have something totally different to offer and what we feel is luxurious to a customer. And, uh, you know, it, who can define luxury in, until you've got that customer in front of you to ask that question? So, um, it's great that we've all got this opportunity to showcase. So thank you again, Carolyn, for that. It's amazing. Pleasure. Jill, are you ready or do you want Peter to go next? No, no, I think the technical uh, challenges have been resolved now. So. Okay, yeah, I'll be <laughs> okay. happy. If, if you want go. to do yours, Jill, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, yeah, so today I'm I'm focusing on J A Manafaru, which is our island paradise in the northernmost atoll of the Maldives. Um, as you can see from this picture, there's nothing else around us, um, and the island itself, this is the main island here, is very very lush and green, um, and we really focus on as being the real Maldives because the whole atoll is completely untouched. So getting to J.M. Manafaru, we currently have um, a joint venture with Manta Air. Uh, so it's a domestic service, but because it's just a joint venture between J.M. Manafaru and them, it's only our guests that are actually on the aircraft. So it's a 45 minute um, flight. Our team meet you at the airport and take care of everything uh, for you from the moment that you arrive. Um, and the seats are um, all leather. The flight is fully air conditioned and everybody gets their own uh, window seat, in which case taking all those beautiful pictures as you fly over the different atolls is incredible. 
Um, as of the end of January, we will be reverting to fully seaplane transfers. So this is something that we're really excited about moving forward. We've listened to our customer feedback um, and this is what they really want. So uh, really excited about that launching um, just after festive season. So in terms of what we can offer on the island, it really gives it a unique focus. Um, there are actually 12 separate things. So the first one is the bespoke journey. So we work very much on preference forms. So we reach out to the guests before they come. Um, and this has now become more automated because three weeks ago, we launched our JA Manafaru app, which means that the customer can actually log in with their booking reference um, and pre-book any of the activities that they want. They can do restaurant bookings or they can just use it as an information tool um, and really get to know a little bit about the resort before they travel. Uh, we offer a full butler service. So once the guests arrive on the island, we have the buggies to transfer them to the room. Um, and the buggies actually have the guest name on. So everything's all very individually tailored. We focus very much on eating lifestyles and all of those tailored touches that make the guest experience unique. So whether it's a family holiday or a honeymoon, we can cater for both. In terms of dining, it's about your own choices and delighting the guest. Um, our all-inclusive option um, that we have on the resort at the moment is a full dine around. Um, there are certain items that are not included um, on the dine around within each of the menus, and we do offer um, a reduction on the cost of those. We also have a subterranean wine cellar, which was the first one in the Maldives, and focus very much on from scratch cooking. Um, big focus at the moment is obviously sustainability, and we're trying to do this with um, keeping the luxury element as well. So we do all of our water bottling in-house um, and also a lot of upcycling. So that is where something is not made of recyclable material, but we can find a second use for the item. So we're not literally throwing everything away. Um, a guest activity, which is, forms part of the sustainability programme, is foraging lunches. We have our own gardens and they can go and work with our gardening team and forage for food. Um, we're also focusing on stopping ocean band plastics and all of the, the what would formerly have been like linen wear in the rooms. So things like your laundry bag, the little bag that the hairdryer is in, and also what we're placing in the room the night before the guest leaves is a bag that they can put their wet swimming cosy in because obviously being in the Maldives, swimming is a key activity. All of these things are now made out of ocean bound plastics um so material that's been um reused to prevent the, the plastic reaching the oceans so we're introducing that throughout all of those items on the property and also reducing plastic that we're using everywhere because we're doing a lot of things in our own gardens we're not actually obviously having things transported wrapped in plastic and and being shipped to the property wellness your way now this is a really big thing for us because it's a brand new concept that we launched on the 16th of october um, and it's about having lifestyle choices while you're staying with us so this is something that is available to guests um, starting from our spa so we're introducing our alchemy bar um, which is due to open at the end of this week um, divai bays which is using maldivian natural herbs um, and um using these things for wellness and well-being uh, we have both an indoor and an outdoor gym and pre probiotic drinks and also introducing more alcohol free options so you don't feel you have to reach for the traditional soft drink just because you're not having alcohol um, with this, we introduce lifestyle menus into every single restaurant. So every um, uh, restaurant that we have on property has the standard menu, uh, a vegan menu, dairy free, low carb and children's menus as well. Naturally lush. Well, you saw from those first few images how lush that the the um, the island actually is. We've got banyan trees there, which mean we have a lot of positive energy on the island and all of the beaches are natural. It's definitely the road less travelled. You could see that we don't have any uh, boat traffic or air traffic around us. And it means that our dive and snorkeling sites are very exclusive as well. And we also have the luxury, <coughs> excuse me, of two castaway islands. 
In terms of experiences, we've got over 100 different experiences. You'll be pleased I won't be going through every single one today. But we do do um, offer our guests complimentary snorkeling equipment. And as of next week, we'll be introducing complimentary snorkeling excursions as well. So the guests can go to the best sites to see the best um, sea life while they're snorkeling. We have weekly programmes. Uh, we offer complimentary non-motorised water sports and getting around the island, which takes about 35 minutes to walk um, or you can go through the pathways internally we've assigned bikes to each of the villas so that the guests can get around um, in that way as well each of our villas which you'll see in some of the pictures later on um, actually have the option to have alfresco in villa dining because we've got these gazebos with dining furniture and makes the experience really really pleasurable home is here is our homegrown concept so we've got our own organic gardens we've introduced hydroponics as well our mushroom hut that was um, erected about uh, two months ago is already producing our own fresh mushrooms and Cluckingham Palace is our chicken coo which is out of this world um, and we actually obviously then have our own eggs which the kids will go and collect um, as an exercise from the from the kids club we also produce our own homegrown yogurt jam and cocatella which is palm oil free um, and our whole approach is about um, you know cooking from scratch um, for guests who've got a celebration, we can do dine by design. We've plenty of different um, setups for private dining. We do the wedding blessings and ceremonies because obviously the weddings are not legal in the Maldives, but certainly the blessings and ceremonies are. And we can create some really unique setups and concepts either on a castaway island or on the main island itself. Free spirited and free ice cream is our concept of including lots of additional extras. So obviously when guests are staying on all inclusive, they tend to think that everything's included and it can be quite frustrating on checkout when things like an ice cream or a tennis racket or something is suddenly added in as five, ten dollars additional cost. So um, things like your beach bags and slippers, the free ice cream was the thing to draw attention. But over time, we're going to grow this list of complimentary things that the guests will receive. <laughs> Then we have the Fuss Free Family Holiday. So Worldwide Kids signed up with us at the beginning of the year. And with them, we've got two amazing kids programmes, three and up and eight and up. Um, next to the Kids Club, we've got the Teens Recreation Area. Our villas are large enough to accommodate different family sizes. So it's an amazing choice for children. And then finally, the real Maldives. So this is about the fact that our location lends itself to us being the Maldives and being very traditional. So we've got a high percentage of Maldivian um, locals as, as part of our team. The atoll itself is very untouched and our executive chef is also Maldivian. We can do local island tours. Um, and also um, we have our cultural lounge, which is somewhere where guests can go and read books or look at videos or pictures and really see the history and heritage of the um, destination itself. So with all of that, the product itself. So we have 84 villas on the island. Um, the beach villa, beach pool villa is the entry level category. Every single room's got its own private pool. And even this entry level room can actually accommodate two adults and two small children. The living space is open plan. And you can see from the picture there, the bathroom looking out over to your private garden where you've got your private pool. You can also see from that picture there how extensive the beach can be. Um, and obviously with the very lush and private um, areas that you've got within your villa and your garden area, which is made purely of sand, it really is idyllic. For families, we'd recommend the deluxe beach pool villa. These categories are actually much larger. They've got a separate bedroom and living room area. So the children could be accommodated either on the sofa bed in the living room or we can bring a roll away in there um, and then everybody's got a separate living space. These are the dining gazebos here at the bottom left that I mentioned before. And again, you can see the huge expanse of beach that you have um, you know, from from stepping out from your villa out onto the beach and then to the ocean. 
We also have the Ocean View Pool Villa, where the location of these is at certain times of year. Um, the beach area is not quite as extensive, but interior wise, it's exactly the same as the deluxe beach villa. You can see on that picture as well, the plunge pool, um, which is slightly larger than we have in the entry level room. Our water villas are split into two categories. So these are either sunrise or sunset. The guests can choose themselves. Again, they're open plan. You've got a lovely decking area there, your private pool. Um, you can see the in the in the top picture the window panel there, which means that you can look through and see the sea life from the comfort of your room. And again, they can accommodate two adults and two children. Um, we also have three residences on the island. So the first one is the three bedroom version, which is the island residence. So three bedrooms, each with en suite. You've got living space right in the middle of the villa, above and below. And then the master bedroom also has its own private pool. You can see the huge swimming pool that you've got there. And then through the trees there, there is a gate that leads directly with your direct access to the beach. This villa has also got um, a spa pavilion. So it's got couples treatment beds and a steam room and sauna as well so you could actually have your spa treatment in the comfort of the villa then we have the two bedroom version of the same um, beautiful again uh, lots of living space above and below and lovely large size swimming pool and then finally the ocean residence so this is a lovely two bedroom villa uh, water villa um, and this has got stunning views from the living room looking out um, over the ocean. And you can see the castaway island there just in the distance. Um, in terms of inclusion, there's a whole list there of, of things that we've included in the guest stay. Uh, lots of different activities um, that you can see there. And again, not to forget the free ice cream. In terms of dining, so our current dining option is Dine Around All Inclusive, and we have uh, one restaurant available for breakfast, which is still an a la carte. We do have a small setup for um, juices and bakery items, but mainly uh, the menu is an a la carte menu. We have two options for lunch and then three for dinner. Uh, the mini bar is also included in the all inclusive. And as you can see there, we're offering discounts from the spa treatments as well. 40 different wines and champagne are also included in the package. And currently we're including um, afternoon tea as well. As of the 10th of January, we're actually changing slightly. The all inclusive will remain as it is, but we're now giving guests the flexibility of bed and breakfast, half board and full board. And just a few of our restaurant highlights. This is Ocean Grill, which is our seafood um, and uh, steak from the grill. Um, it's our beachfront setting, so you can get that barefoot dining experience. Really, really beautiful restaurant. And then this is White Orchid, which is currently the afternoon tea lounge. Um, and as of Friday, it will become our Asian fusion restaurant. So it, when we opened the property, it was an Asian fusion restaurant um, and now we're converting it back. So it's going to give us another beautiful restaurant for the evening. It is a, a water villa, so it's set on stilts and it has the most amazing sunsets. And then from the beginning of December, we'll also introduce the tapanyaki table back into the restaurant as well. Another restaurant highlight is Andy Armo, which is sat around our lagoon pool, which is one of two main swimming pools on the island um, and is the home of our Mediterranean restaurant. And then our wine cellar. So the concept here is that you would do a taster menu or a simple cheese and wine. And until recently, you had to take it on an exclusive basis. Um, as of this month, we've now actually introduced a new concept where you can book a table um, up to four people um, or you can take it exclusively still. But it just means that guests can actually have more flexibility around that. And it's more cost effective. Twice a week, we're also doing wine tasting there, which is complimentary activity and that's also going down incredibly well with the guest. Thank you for listening to J.A. Manafaro and I hope you've enjoyed the presentation this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jill. That was amazing. Again, very well presented and um, highlighting obviously the great, great property you've got. So thank, thank you. you very much for that. And again, I think everybody wants to know when we can go. So that's two trips we've got already then for next <laughs> week. That's great. 
we'll all we'll, we'll all be joining you. That's absolutely fine. So thank you again, um, Peter. If you're ready, we can uh, shoot over to show your amazing property as well. Hello there. Um, hello everyone. Welcome to the wonderful island of Barbados. So I'm Peter from Bespoke Travel Marketing and we handle the sales and marketing of this wonderful brand new property. So it only opened last month. So this property is a game changer for the island of Barbados. It's a 422 room, five star luxury, all inclusive resort located in the parish of St. Philip on the north southeast side of the island. You can see the beautiful resort there. It's a large contemporary and brand new build resort. Um, it's actually owned by the government. So this is part of a strategic initiative from the government of Barbados to drive a new concept of accommodation on the island, um, a larger scale resort environment that is five star luxury, all inclusive. So where is it located? So down the southeast part of the island. So you can see where the international airport there is the icon of the plane. That's BGI, Barbados Bridgetown Airport. And it's a short 15 minute transfer from the airport to the hotel. Bridgetown is about half an hour drive away. Um, for those in the UK, the size of Barbados is roughly the same size as the Isle of Wight off the south coast of, of England. Um, so that's where we are. And... On arrival, the guest checks in and enters our lobby breezeway. So this is a beautiful space that welcomes the guest to the hotel. And at the end of the breezeway, you then have this wonderful view over the central swimming pool. Now, this is a rendering, but it gives you a glimpse of the wow factor of, of the hotel when you first arrive at Wyndham Grand Barbados. So the location of the property is on an estate called Sam Lord's estate. Now, who on earth is this guy, Sam Lord? Well, he actually was Samuel Hall Lord, um, a buccaneer and pirate from the 1700s who amassed a significant wealth. What he used to do, he used to actually hang lanterns on the trees in his estate, confusing ships arriving at Bridgetown Harbour, confusing them to a point where they would cr uh, crash and, and break up on the reefs off the, the coastline here. What he would then do, take his band of merry men and go out and plunder the ships. And from that, he built an enormous wealth and created Sam Lowe's castle and his estate. So that's a bit of background history. But now, today, it's a very different ex experience. Modern, clean, contemporary luxury accommodation. Um, we've got 422 rooms and suites. There are 37 suites in total. Now, the categories of room are deluxe room, and then you've got a series of suites. And the deluxe room has views of either the ocean or the resort, so no ocean view. Um, the suites are spacious, but the actual standard room, so the deluxe category room, is 650 square foot in size. So they're very, very spacious, built to the highest standards. It's a brand new property. So these are built very environmentally sensitive, sensitively. Um, sustainability is in the heart of the core of the hotel operation. All the rooms have beautiful spacious balconies overlooking the ocean. Um, and you can see down onto the beach area there. Now, this is a deluxe ocean view room with two queen beds. So the deluxe category has King options, so king bed, one large king bed, or two separate queen beds. Also, we have accessibility rooms as well in these categories. So in the deluxe uh, resort view, we have king, two queens, and accessible. And then in the deluxe ocean room type, deluxe ocean view with king, two queens, and accessible as well. But when we move up into the suites, we've got some sensational accommodation. Um, very spacious bedrooms and living rooms. This is a terror suite, which is one of our higher suites, configured in a kin bed. The Zephyr suite is one notch up, and you can see beautiful surround balcony on two sides of the bedroom, looking out over the ocean. And all the suites are full ocean facing. So you're guaranteed full ocean facing in all the suites at this property. This is a terrace suite living room with a wet bar, um, living room area, 
wet bar, um, and in the rooms, all, all the mini bars are stocked and replenished daily throughout the property in all categories, not just the suites, in the deluxe categories, in the every single room type, um, the room bars are replenished daily. So as I said, it's a five-star all-inclusive property. That includes all dining, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks from a choice of restaurants. Now, at the moment, we are in our soft opening phase of the property. It opened up last month, and we have about three months of soft opening. We've opened up with four restaurants, but the ultimate objective by middle of January 2024 is to have a total of 10 dining options at the property. Huge choice of dining, um, but also catering to lots of different cuisines from around the world. Also, special dietary requirements. We're going to be focusing on providing vegan dining, um, gluten-free dining, and dairy-free dining as well. So we're going to be able to deliver a high-quality, um, premium gourmet dining plan to our guests. Um, all the rooms are fully stocked with minibar, um, replenished daily. 24-hour room service, seven days a week. Um, and the, the inclusions in terms of beverages, we've got international brand name spirits, cocktails and beers, wine served by the glass from all bars, um, and also with all meals. Now, it's not just one red, one white, and one rosé. We have a selection of reds, a selection of whites, and a selection of rosés, depending on the taste of the individual guest. Lots of activities in the fitness center as well. So it really is what we call a premium, all-inclusive dining offering. So initially, as I mentioned, we've got four restaurants open at the moment at the property. Um, the, the international market actually has five different cooking stations within the international market. Castle Bay Restaurant is our uh, steak and seafood restaurant looking towards the castle, which is the ancient monument of Sam Law's Castle. Burnt cask and the lantern, pool bar and grill. So ultimately, we'll be have by, by middle of February, middle, sorry, middle of January, we will have a total of 10 dining options. Great choice for guests of with all tastes. So what's there to do at the property? Well, there's lots of activities. We've got a total of six swimming pools, one of which sits within our spa area. We're not far from the golf course of, of the Barbados Golf Club. Pickleball, as Carolyn mentioned, is extremely popular. We've got a pickleball court, tennis courts, um, a lovely beach area with activities, Beach, beach cabanas and and um, food and beverage down on the beach area as well. There will be lots of water sports available off the beach as well. We are family friendly. So this property is go open to guests of all ages. We're not a family friendly resort, as in we're not a family only resort, sorry. We are a family friendly resort. So we do welcome guests of all ages, from young children um, through to wedding couples, adults only, single people, and also the group and convention market as well. So we've got lots of activities included in the, in the children activity program at the property. Um, lots to keep the young children entertained. This is Sammy. He's he's our mascot of the, the children's club. Obviously, Sammy Lords is the, is the vagabond, and Sammy is the mascot of our children's club. Lots of games, activities galore, daytime, evening shows, entertainment, board games, um, and also we offer third-party babysitting services, but that is an additional charge. Now, for adult guests who want to really pamper themselves, we have our wonderful spa. So this is going to be a destination spa, and at the moment this isn't open, but this will open sometime in the middle of January. It will uh, be a, a managed by an international well-known spa brand, and will offer a huge choice of services, including a salon, um, seven treatment rooms, juice bar, and its own private swimming pool within the spa. So it'll be reserved purely for spa guests within the spa. Spa treatments will be at an optional extra cost, um, but also weddings will be very important to this property. Um, we have a number of wedding packages, so it's going to appeal to a guest, maybe the couple who just want to get married by themselves, up to very large-scale weddings. We have a number of wedding venues, including um, the Castle Lawn and Terrace area, right in front of the castle, which is beautifully uplit at night. So great for private dining, banqueting, but also we've got a very large ballroom as well, the Trident Ballroom. So we're going to be able to cater for weddings of different sizes and scales, all the way from the couple just wanting to get married by themselves up to very lavish family affairs. 
Um, as I said, we have a, a, a very extensive meeting and event facilities at the property. The Trident Ballroom can take up to 600 people in classroom style, banqueting up to 700 people. So there's, there's lots of space at this property for events, rooms, etc. So it'll be multifunctional um, as a result that really caters to guests of all types. But the key thing is we're not going to be mixing the meeting and events um, customer with the customer who wants to just relax on holiday by the pool, chill out with the family or as a couple. So that's it in a nutshell from me. Um, I hope that's whetted your appetite. Um, the property is brand new five-star luxury all-inclusive. As I mentioned, it's owned by the government of Barbados. So this is part of a brand new strategy for the island to create a new concept of accommodation for the, for the island and the destination. And um, the owning company, the government, have given Wyndham Hotels and Resorts a mandate to deliver a AAA five diamond quality of product within the next 18 months. So that's the, that's the level of service delivery that this property is aiming to deliver. Thanks very much, everybody. Um, I'm going to put a link in the chat now to everybody um, so you can um, download information through the website and see information um, to everybody. Amazing. Thank you very much for your time, Peter. It's an amazing presentation as well. And uh, it's a great addition. So I'll put that in the chat. Great addition to Barbados. So, um, it, it, yeah, yeah, fantastic. So and very, very nicely put and showcased as well. So thank you very much for that. So just for the last sort of five, ten minutes, I'm just going to just tell you about something totally, totally different Um from what really the guys have showcased their properties on, which is uh, one of the Royalton properties, what I actually look after. Um, so I'm just going to showcase that one now with you. There we go. So the property I want to talk about today really is our Mystique Holbosch by Royalton. Um, not a lot of people know about this property, and this is why I'm so happy that I get sort of 10 minutes really to speak to you guys about this amazing property. Um, just like the other guys on the call, I've been very fortunate actually to come here and spend time here for a couple of a couple of times, actually. Um, and it it is one of my personal favorites, but from very different reasons um from our other Royalton properties, what 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 I represent. Um, so this is on the island of Holbosch. Um, for anybody who doesn't really know Holbosch, it's a small island um, in, in just off Mexico, actually. Um, it's 26 mile island. Um, and it, we call this miles from ordinary. The reason why we do that is because, like I say, it is very different to what we usually offer as a Royalton property. Um, so this is perfect opportunity for anybody who wants to twin center um, their holiday. Um, so if they want to have a uh, Playa de Carmen or, or Cancun or more of your all-inclusive sort of option, what you would expect uh, the Mexico area to be. Um, this obviously just gives you that different option so you can twin centre. So anybody who's on a honeymoon, uh, who doesn't want to do that all-inclusive all the time, um, th this is a great option. Now, it is roughly around two hours, two hours away from Cancun Airport. Um, it's... A nice drive. You go for all the little villages. Uh, you see all the sort of more local uh, Mexico, which is beautiful to go through and see. Um, and then it's a ferry crossing over. But there's lots of things on the island to do. It is literally like a backpacking sort of holiday where you can go and, um, you know, sort of go down the bar streets, the uh, restaurants, uh, local restaurants out there, all the local cuisine. But you've got things like bird watching there, scuba diving. You can, um, uh, you know, have lots of different options to do there when you're on the island. This is your journey, really. So as I've mentioned on a good day, it could take you an hour and 59 minutes. Bit of traffic, you know, another way you've got two hours, eight minutes. Or if you do go the long way around, you can do two and a half hours, but direct straight to where you have to go to to pick the ferry up to get over to the island of Holbosch uh, would take you, like I say, roughly around two hours. Uh, Chiquilia is the area where you have to go to. Um, again, very vibrant around there, very Mexican feel to it, very busy um, with all the little sort of 
tiki tacky shops there as well so it's very very nice just to experience that little bit of an area as well uh, which is very different from the sort of cancun what we um sort of see daily really with the with, with the properties we sell every single day and this is how you get over to the island of holbosch a little bit of a ferry ride a beautiful beautiful way to get over to there um it's about 20 minutes ferry ride over um but again you get to see a lot of wildlife um when you're traveling over by the whole bus express which uh, i've experienced twice myself so ways of getting around the island of Holbosch when you're there, there's three ways, three ways of getting around. First one is walking. You walk around the island, you explore, you see things. Best way to do it, uh, in my opinion. Second way is golf carts. In fact, the taxis on the island are golf carts too. So again, you can hire one of these golf carts out. You can, you know, get a guide if you want to, to take you around the island, which will take you to all the main sort of um landmark sort of areas of Holbosch um but also you can get bicycles as well um so again another way of getting around if you want to to go and see um the, the beautiful island this is our property um it's got 38 rooms 38 rooms only um we have um well this is I put up a couple of personal pictures in there from when I was there as well to highlight the properties um, we've got seven different categories when it comes down to room categories, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, this property actually is self-catering. Uh, you can add on breakfast, things like that, and up to half board. So you can have your breakfast and evening meal if you want to. Uh, the restaurant on site itself uh, is an award-winning restaurant. Um, so we're very proud of that. I'm not a big seafood fan, but when we come over to the island of Holbosch, you have to eat the seafood because it's a catch of a day. Um, it's all fresh and it's absolutely stunning. So if this is the only place I will actually sit and eat the seafood because it is absolutely amazing, literally sea to plate. So it's absolutely beautiful. And this is the little reception area when you get there. Um, very nice and intimate, um, very open, very airy. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, and this is obviously uh, where you meet um, most of the staff who work on in the in the hotel in that reception area where they come and give you a warm welcome before you go to your room and obviously I've had to take a picture in that beautiful swing there which they have in the reception area just to rub it in to prove that I have been there and not just saying that to you guys um, as I've mentioned we've got seven different room categories here anything from a standard deluxe suite uh, we've got pool view options we've got these uh, loft ocean view uh ocean front swim outs and we've even got the presidential uh one bedroom suite as well in fact um last time i went over i was told that we are the only property on the island of holbosch to actually have tvs in the rooms so we give you 55 inch flat screen tvs with full satellite television uh you've also got the 24 hour reception unlimited wi-fi when you are there um, mini bars and room service there is a charge because like I say we're not all inclusive here uh, you got your bluetooth speakers uh, your balcony terrace steamers tea, coffee makers hair dryers etc so all the facilities you would expect to have um, in the rooms will be widely available in our rooms as well um, we've also got an area uh, for uh, weddings and uh, we do weddings there as well um, it's only a small occupancy of 80 um, especially on our beach weddings, what we have there. Uh, we also can do up to 40 as well in our um, restaurant area. Um, but otherwise, you know, it is a nice option here. Um, again, for something very, very different in terms of weddings. As I've mentioned, our award-winning uh, restaurant. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, we have lobsters going on here. We've got all the fresh fish, what you could expect. Uh, even things I've never heard of before. Um, I tried. Um, I always give something a try, but um, yeah, it's it's stunning, absolutely beautiful, and it does actually uh, face over the amazing uh, sea. So it is that sort of barefoot beach to restaurant um option. So again, absolutely stunning. The things to do on the island of Holbosch, it's very eco-friendly. Uh, as I've mentioned, you walk, you bicycle, or you use the golf carts. There is no motorcycles or motorised vehicles on the property, i.e. cars. Um, so again, it's 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 very eco-friendly. But you can do anything 
come from sort of sunset at Punta Casa, Cascos. Uh, uh, they swim with the uh, whale sharks. Uh, flamingos. Flamingos actually are just just roaming around the island. Uh, you'll be sitting there sunbathing, reading a book uh, with some earphones in, listening to a bit of Spotify, and a flamingo will walk past you. Um, it's it's crazy. It's beautiful. We have also um, eagles nesting as well in the trees, which is stunning. Um, it's just so, so much you can do on the island of Holbosch being so, so different from the normal sort of Mexico experience, Cancun area experience, what you would get. And this is me. This is, you have to have a picture with the famous Holbosch sign there. Um, so again, this is my claim to fame with my Holbosch sign. Um, and what I'm going to do is just finish off really, just to highlight really what I've already covered um, with the Royalton Mystique Holbosch uh, with a quick video. So please enjoy and hopefully take in uh, everything what I've just said. <laughs> Island of Holbosch with the Royalton Holbosch. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, so what we're going to do now, guys, um, we are going to give some prizes away. So hopefully you are all listening. And the way it works is we're all going to ask a separate question. And the person who does the fastest finger first will get 10 entries into a spin to win. So everybody will get the opportunity of winning. Um, but the, the person who gets the question right first will get multiple entries into the spin to win. So the first thing I need you to do is go over to your chat box, box can't even say it, chat box option. Um, and then if you just have a look and make sure it says two, you'll see a little blue tab. If you just make sure that says everyone on there, please, uh, first of all. And once you've done that, we are going to ask you a question individually. Uh, and then I will make a note of the fastest finger first obviously with the correct answer, okay? So I'm gonna let, who went first? Carolyn, Carolyn went first. I'm gonna let Carolyn go first with your question, please. Okay, of the three Little Harbour Estate villas, which one is positioned on Meads Bay, Anguilla? Beach House, is that correct? Okay, so, okay, so he was first. Let's have a look. If you see it before me, please let me know. Quick. Ooh, sorry. Still going, we're still going, we're still going. I got Jason Savage. That's the first one. Well done, Jason. Well done, Jason. Very well done. You'll get 10 entries in the spin to win. Um, and then if we go with Jill with your question, please. So fastest fingers yeah. first again. OK, so on the 16th of October, J.A. Manafaru launched a new lifestyle concept. Can you remember the name of that? Yeah, there you go. Wellness Your Way. The Wellness Your Way? Oh, yeah, Corin. Super duper Corin Germany. Oh. Very good. It's amazing how many people are listening. It's good. <laughs> Brilliant. It is very good. Very good. Okay. We go over to Peter next then, please. Well done, everybody, for getting that right. Well done. Congrats to everybody so far. So um, Wyndham Grand Barbados is uh, open to guests of all ages, so it's family friendly. 
Now we have a children's entertainment program. What is the name of the mascot of the children's entertainment program? Well done. Good lord, that was easy. <laughs> You didn't even finish your question, please. Well done, everybody. You were listening. Wow. Done. So our lovely parrot, that's the correct answer. Sammy the parrot is the mascot of the children's club. So we've got Amy, who was the fastest one in there. Uh, sorry, I'm just writing these day names down. Just give me two seconds. Congratulations, Amy. Well done. Fastest finger there. Sammy was the correct answer. And my question is, I mentioned a certain bird what might foot walk past you when you're sunbathing in Holbosch. What would it be? Wow, that was quick. Okay, Flamingo is the correct answer. Stacy on that one. Unlucky Jaden, you was close there, mate. Uh, Flamingo is right, and Stacy. Perfect. Well done, everybody. So, Corin, Stacy, Jason, and Amy, we're all the correct winners. Uh, I do see there is a couple of questions before we do shoot off. So, um, what is there for teens, i.e., 15 year old at the Wyndham? We've basically got a structured program for specific age groups. Um, so teens will have access to, obviously, beach activities. They'll be entertained on the beach during daytime, evening entertainment, but also there'll be pickleball and other activities aimed at a teenage guest. We know that those troublesome teenagers can be challenging to entertain on holidays. So there will be a program. Um, I may have to follow up with detail on all of that. But there will be a program aimed at younger children, your eight through to 12s, and then your teenagers. So segmenting into those three different age groups. Super. And I'm assuming this is uh, aimed to yourself as well, Peter. Um, 500 rooms at Wyndham Barbados, question mark. Yeah, I think yeah, that 122 is. 422 in total. 422. 422. Okay, Neil, 422 is your answer for that one. Um. Okay, that's answered that one. It's the largest hotel on the island, or it is the largest hotel on the island of Barbados now. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is there for 15 euros to at the window? We've already answered that one. So we could delete that one. Um, a lot about Holbosch, which I will answer. Have you been going to Holbosch for several years? Absolutely loved it. Yes, I've been twice. Um, I've been working for Blue Diamond for four years. Um, I've been twice, luckily enough. Uh, which I absolutely love. Is the Rotten Old Bosch all-inclusive? It's not. No, it's not all-inclusive. Um, it's anything from room only all the way up to the half board with your breakfast and evening meal. Are the whole Bosch roads dirt? Um, they are very gravelly, is the best way to put it. Um, very gravelly. Uh, and it gets really dirty if it rains. Um, but otherwise, it's it's more sort of gravel uh, sort of feel to it. Um do we have net rates for Holbosch? We do indeed, yes. So you just email me um, and uh, with the um, dates you're looking for um, and then um, I can look at some rates for you. Uh, can you bring a group? Can you reserve pickleball courts? Um, who spoke about the pickleball Oops. Yeah, I mentioned it with the villas. Any of the uh -huh. any of the facilities at each villa is for the private and exclusive use of the guests. There's no additional outside usage. So um, for the villas, it, they have total freedom to use it whenever they like. No booking. Super. And how many rooms does it have at Holbosch? It has 38 suites. 38. So it's only a small property. I think that's everyone's questions super duper well just to really say thank you for everybody attending uh thank you for joining us thank you to obviously the guys who's done their fantastic presentations today really appreciate it you've really highlighted um the beauty of all your properties um so thank you to everybody good luck in the spin to win to everybody and i'm sure sarah will be in touch with all the winners uh from our from uh, our prizes today. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your days uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you very, very soon on the next webinar. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thanks for thank joining you. us. Thanks, Carolyn, thank for you. jumping in. <laughs>
Sorry, I've been there. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks. Take care, Bye. you guys. Yeah. Take care. Have a nice good day. Have a rest of the day. Bye.